Welcome to hardatengineer.com. I am Varun Patel. In this video, I am going to explain to you about the centrifugal pump curves. This video covers four type of curves that use to look at the various pump parameters. And in the last topic, I will explain to you about pump family curve that is used to pump selection. The curve that which we are going to cover in these videos are head versus flow curves, efficiency curve, power energy curve, NPSH required curve, last is pump family curve. So watch the full video to get the complete understanding of these topics and don't forget to subscribe because that way you will get the notification of my new videos. You can subscribe right now by just clicking the subscribe button on the right hand side of your screen. Let's start with video. The first curve under the pump performance characteristic is the head versus flow rate curve. It is also known as pressure versus quantity curve. To draw this curve, head is plotted on y axis and flow is plotted on x axis. You can see the sample HQ curve in the image here. Now let's convert this curve to the word so that you can understand the same. The highest point A on the y axis is called shut off pressure. It means when there is no flow, this is the highest head available. Now point B on the x axis is the highest flow from the pump when there is no head. Let me give you a practical example of this. Consider that you are watering the garden. Point A is when you keep the pipe vertical and the water will go to the certain height before it starts to fall. Point B is when maximum water is coming out of the hose when there is no pressure head. From point A to B, you can see that head will be reduced with the increase in the flow rate. This is all about head versus flow curve. The next pump performance curve is a efficiency curve. All the charts shown here in this video are plotted for constant speed fixed diameter impeller pump. What does that mean is that here we have considered that we have used a standard motor that run at constant speed and impeller diameter is the same for all the performance chart. For this particular efficiency curve, you can see that initially pump efficiency will increase and reach at the maximum and then decrease with the increase in flow rate. To understand this point, let's continue with our garden hose example. Keep the hose at 45 degree so that the water will go to the farthest point in the garden. This point is called the best efficiency point or BEP. Here on the chart, it is shown as a point C. Ideally, you should run the pump within the 10% range from the BEP to avoid the damage to the pump impeller and seal. When you select the pump, you have to choose the flow rate and head within this range. Now the third curve is the power or energy curve. You can also see that with the increase in the head and flow rate, power consumption will also increase. This is like when pump has to do more work, it needs more power. If you want to learn more about the centrifugal pump principle, operation and design, you can check the full course available on my website. It is a seven hour long course covering every aspect of the pump that will make you super confident about the centrifugal pump. The next curve is NPSH required curve. Net positive suction head at the pump suction is necessary to prevent cavitation in the pump. From the curve, you can see that the NPSH requirement will increase with the higher flow rate. This is like more liquid with higher head has to enter the pump when you push more liquid out. Now let's put all four curves on a single chart. Here it will give you an overall pump performance review. You can see how these curves interact with each other. As said earlier, all these curves are drawn for the constant speed fixed diameter impeller. If you change any of these, all the curve parameter will get changed. So how do you select the pump? Well. All the pump manufacturer develops the pump family curve that shows multiple curves on a single chart. This is a sample family curve that is used to select the pump. 
head and flow rate are on the y and x axis on the y axis you can see the impeller diameter is marked percentage shows the efficiency of the pump for the given size of impeller triangle boxes show and pshr and power requirement is shown on square boxes pump rpm is constant npsh and power requirement are also shown on the same chart let's say you want a pump with 30 meter head and 225 meter cube per hour flow rate this is your normal duty point we want our pump should run with the best efficiency to save running and maintenance cost over a period of long time you can now see that if you select the pump with an impeller diameter of around 10.25 inches and 30 hv motor will fulfill your requirements you have to maintain more than 9 feet of head at the suction to avoid cavitation this is how you select the pump this is all about centrifugal pump performance curves if you want to learn more about the centrifugal pumps principal operation and design you can check the full course available on my website it is 7 hour long course covering every aspect of centrifugal pump that will make you super confident about these topics please do like and share this video and subscribe to my channel because that way you will get the notification of new video see you soon goodbye take care